nicest girl I know lives in Paradise. Susie is the girl for me. I came here two years ago, and I love it. It is the most beautiful place of, of religion and everything else. That's wonderful. And I'm in 66 years. And I'm 84 years old. Rescue us from the death of sin and fill us with your mercy, that we may share your presence and the joys of all the saints. So you have been a nun for 65 years. 65 years. And how do you like it here? Oh, of course I love it. These devout Sisters of God are retired nuns from the order of the Sisters of St. Mary of Namur, the Belgian-based mother house that first sent its sisters to Western New York in 1819 to evangelize the Indians. Some who are still active after more than 50 years of service reside at the Annunciation Parish Convent on Buffalo's Upper West Side, where they still perform meaningful duties. Others who are infirm and range in age from their 80s to 100 plus are living out their lives in the Mary Crest Infirmary, a total care facility which adjoins the convent. Sister Mary Judith of St. Mary's Development Department sees to it that the retirement needs will always be met. This is a residence on this side. It has 18 bedrooms and connected with that, built into the parking lot now, is the infirmary where 16 infirm sisters are able to be cared for by aides around the clock. And we feel that this is the best care for our elderly. We have an RN who oversees the whole operation. They get wonderful care. The aides are so loving and caring. They know each sister personally. We're here in the convent, and right next to us is the infirmary. Are there retired nuns? here in the, in the convent, what do they do? There is no such thing as a re, for a retired nun. Retired nuns here are bringing communion, visiting the sick. One sister works in a handicapped home over on Breckenridge. They're canning, they're calling people through the phone service to make sure that they're all right. How long have you been with the Sisters of St. Mary? 60 years. And what type of service? I've been a teacher most of my life, but I've also worked with the migrants and in Texas with um, delinquent boys, and I've worked in Africa with the missions. And uh, you're, you're still working? Oh, yes. <laughs> and what, what are you doing here? Uh, right now I help in the administration, taking care of accounts, and uh, I go out occasionally to what was St. Anne's School to help in the library. I love to work in the yard, and if anything needs to be done in the convent. And then I am a Eucharistic minister in the parish, and I take Holy Communion to the sick. You help out here as well? Well, yes, I mean, I, if anything, I'm kind of handy, like I put in the lights, and I, if anything goes wrong, I try to help fix it up. One sister has written over 486 thank you notes since November. They do the cooking at lunchtime. There is no such thing as retirement, and of course their main work is they are the prayers. The names of the donors are up, and they pray for our benefactors, our students, our donors, and they love to hear about them. I volunteer at the Concerned Ecumenical Ministry at 286 Lafayette Avenue every week. I am the receptionist. I answer the phone, greet people with, we hope, with great love and compassion to come and administer to the young, the not quite so old, and maybe a little older like myself. You took a vow of poverty, it's sort of coming full circle, isn't it? It is, because it's very uneasy. When I entered the convent, I was absolutely sure that there would be people coming up behind me who would care for me, and we don't have that assurance anymore. What do you figure it costs for each infirm nun? The care of every infirm sister is approximately $20,000. So really, every sister who's working has to support herself and an infirm sister. Now, you, they have Social Security? We went into Social Security several years ago, so we do have Social Security, and for most of the sisters, that's their only income. And this is how you have to exist, I imagine? And that's how we exist. We have a direct mail campaign to our former students, mostly. Is there any funding from the diocese? 
The diocese has the retirement fund for religious, and from that, last year, we received $23,000. So that paid for one retired sister plus uh, more toward another. In other words, you are not a diocesan uh, No, order. we're called a papal community. We're, for, we're under uh, Rome. We're out of Belgium. I taught 52 years, and I loved every minute of the teaching. And your students, gone, they've gone oh. on to great things, I bet. Oh, you sh I hear from, I've never heard from so many as I have since I came here. One of them told me, she said, Sister Mary Gerald, I never knew math until, I, I, I didn't know two and two until you taught me. That's a nice feeling, isn't oh, it? Oh, I, I, I can't, you can't believe it. One, the superior said to me, Gerald, you must have been a good teacher. I said, well, it looks like it. <laughs> I entered on the 7th of December, 1927. That's a few years ago, isn't it? It's a few years. It was 65, 65 years. I was 21 when I entered. And uh, I came to the Sisters of St. Mary because I wanted to teach. My mother couldn't afford to send me to high school. I never met a sister before. And I wanted to go to a, a convent where the, you know, the sisters taught school. I understand you have crafts. I do. I, and I, today's supposed to go to Home Bureau, but you see when I have to go in a wheelchair, and if it's raining or if it's snow, my wheelchair doesn't go. Well, the old saying, you know, keep the faith the Lord will provide, it, it is working, isn't it? It is working. It always has worked, and we feel as long as we keep doing the Lord's will and his work and, and teaching, caring for the poor, he'll provide for us. But we do what we can. We do this direct mail. We've sold a corner of our property out in Kenmore. We had an auction uh, when I took over in 1983. We sold any riches we had of any kind, beautiful wooden pieces. We sold anything that we had to put aside to try to take care of ourselves. So we've done what we can, and we have to ask our friends and our former students to help us now. How do you like it here? I love it. I expect to stay here for good. Just go. 